Good afternoon. I'm just home from work and uh, I've got another uh, unboxing video. This was waiting for me today. I've been waiting for this since uh, before Christmas. It's uh, a pack from Blitzkrieg Miniatures. And um, my daughter's uh, club together uh, bought these for Christmas in their um, pre-Christmas Black Friday sale. So it's now March the 6th and they've just arrived. I gave them a, a list of various ones and uh, they chose these three. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So I've got a British Matilda. Um, and I won't look at this one because I've, I've got another one and I did a unboxing for that um, probably, oh, probably just before Christmas so I've already looked at, uh, at those so I'll put that to one side and look at the other two so the first one is uh, an American Sherman M4A1 with a 76mm gun I can get into the bag. So what have we got in here? We have the uh, the turret. Uh, we've got the gun barrel. So it needs a little bit of cleaning up. We've got a metal gun barrel. I'll just put my overhead light on. Get a bit more light on the subject. Uh, we've got our um, turret mounted machine gun oh, we've got another uh, machine gun we've got uh, three hatches so one for the turret, two for the hull We've got two of those and the uh, turret hatch. So the turret actually fits nicely in there with um, no need to clean that up. So I'll stick a, a magnet in there. So let's have a look at the turret. I do like these uh, Blitzkrieg tanks. Uh, especially good value when you get them in the sale because they're uh, they're half price so these ones will have cost I think about £10 maybe £11. But uh, some nice detail and um, not too many casting holes in there. That looks quite nice. Uh, let's have sort a of look at the, the body. So we've got the track track detail, that need a little little bit of cleaning up. Uh, is that just dust? I think that's just just a bit of dust on there. Again, um, not uh, not many pit marks in there at all. So that's my M4A1 Sherman, a little bit of uh, come adrift there, battle damage. Two thousand one hundred and seventy one of these produced between uh, 44 and 40, uh, January 44 and December 44. Although the M4A1 with I think the 75mm gun 
uh, has a lot more, uh, six, over 6,000 of those produced. But very nice. And then I've got uh, a German a Stug Sturmgeschutz, uh, self-propelled artillery. I do have a plastic Stug 3, um, so it'll be nice to see how that compares. Uh, I'll just look and see if I've got it here, but I think I'll put it away. So let me just put these out of the way. So in the pack we get a couple of skirts or schutzen. Get uh, the metal gun. Oh, it's going to need a little bit of filing down. Not as smooth as I've seen uh, some of the other ones. A little bit of work on that one. We get uh, a machine gun. We get the machine gun guard or shield that goes uh, on top. We get commander's hatch to, uh, and crew hatch, and then um, we get the vehicle. So um, this is the uh, Storm Geschutz 3 uh, Als G with the Zimmerit, which is uh, nicely modelled on the side there. These were produced between December 42 and April 45, and uh, over 8,000 of these, this particular variant. They're based on the um, Panzer III chassis. So, some nice detail in the wheels and uh, side view of the tracks. The uh, Zimmerit on the front and on the uh, superstructure there on the front and sides, and then uh, the skirts will fit on the side. Just glue on the side. Um, I'm not sure about fitting whether I'll be able to magnetise these. Uh, the plastic one, I think they just slot on, so you can. Remove them certainly on the pans of four. I've got you can just pull it off and uh, slot it back on. Can't remember about the Stug, um, but there's there's no way of um, just clipping those on, so they'll either have to be glued on or magnetized. And the top. So again. Uh, Hardly any. I don't think I've seen any little marks yet. Little air bubbles or... That's looking good. So that's my uh, M4A1. My Stug 3 Alps G. And uh, my Matilda, which uh, I looked at uh, in a previous video. So a very nice little Christmas present uh, to add to the collection. Thanks very much for watching.